Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you could get each and every update well on time for all the government exams. Thank you. So welcome back to Study Smart for Competitions. So this video will be regarding IBPS Clerk 3rd December 2017 third slot analysis for pre-examinations so as we have already uploaded the first slot analysis and uh, we'll be soon uploading a combined uh, combined memory based questions in another video so stay tuned for that uh, for those uh, videos as well let's continue with uh, the analysis of the third slot so the overall analysis i would say that uh, the level of the ibps clerk prelims exam was moderate and was not considerable as tough so one could attempt easily 67 questions plus based on the level of shift. All right. So let's discuss the detailed analysis of each and every uh, section so that you could have a better and broader view and uh, you could, you know, you can formulate your opinions accordingly. All right. So the reading comprehensions, reading comprehensions, the number of questions asked were five questions and the topic details were the passage was based on machinery reducing job opportunities. There were no, no questions from synonym and antonyms, which are highly predictable. So uh, that was a bit change. Uh, the next would be fill in the blanks. Number of questions asked were 10 questions and the topic details were the pattern of the filler based questions was similar to the previous slots. So it was not a topic based question. So all right. Continuing to the next topic of the English section, it's spotting errors. 10 questions were asked for spotting errors. And uh, as we know that there was no variation in the pattern of spotting errors questions. So student had to only identify the correct part, which had no error in the sentence. And uh, that was the pattern which was, uh, you know, which was observed uh, in the last day and for today as well. The next is the phrase replacement. So phrase replacement, we would say that the number of questions asked were five questions and uh, it was same as pattern as in the previous slots. So that was regarding the English section, continuing it to the numerical ability section. So it had number series, DI and other parts and uh, the number series had five questions. The topic details were like they were based on easy arithmetic calculations. So it could be done easily. And uh, talking about the DI part as it had five questions. A tabular graph was given which consisted of uh, data of shops A, B, C and D which sold the toys in different months. So uh, those questions could not be treated as very difficult and they were easily attempted as per our sources. All right. Continuing it, there were simplification or approximation questions that were 15 questions that uh, were actually doable and uh, you could easily do with the help of bot mass. So that was not uh, at all difficult questions. Last part would be miscellaneous questions and uh, talking about the missed questions, there were 20, 10 questions that were missed and uh, that were a bit calculative, I would say, but it could be done so that the whole whole section was easy to moderate, I would say. All right. Going towards the last section, that is reasoning ability section. So for the reasoning ability questions, there were puzzles and the sitting arrangements. So total of 15 questions were asked from the puzzles. And let's discuss what kind of puzzles were there. So one circular arrangement was asked where all the people were facing inside and there was no other parameter. Another was a linear arrangement where seven people were sitting in a single row, four facing north and three facing south. One floor based puzzle was also asked. So that overall, uh, overall, you know, uh, I mean, overall section uh, could be considered as moderate. Moving on to the inequality. There were four questions asked from the inequality part and uh, direct questions were there so it could be easily doable and uh, the next part is syllogisms so syllogisms three questions were asked and it were direct next is series based questions there were 10 series based questions and uh, talking about the details of these type of questions both the given series were numeric one series had around 25 single digit numbers and the questions were asked from them another series had around four to five three digit numbers and the questions were asked for them. So it was a bit doable and could not be considered as actual tough. Moving on to the last part of this section that is reasoning section that is missed questions and total of three questions were asked from that and uh, that were direction sense questions. So friends, uh, this is regarding the overall analysis of the third slot of IBPS prelim examinations. So stay tuned with us for each and every update well on time and uh, all the best for all your upcoming examinations. Thank you. Stay tuned.